Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another banger video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you drop a like and a sub with post notifications. I'd really appreciate it, guys. Also, if you guys did not know, I do have a supporter creator code. So if you guys want to use my supporter creator code and support me in the Fortnite item shop, my supporter creator code is RPS. If you guys want to be in a role play as well, you guys can send me photo or video proof of you using my supporter creator code to my Instagram or Twitter. My Instagram's underscore XL Nate. My Twitter is I'm Viper Nate. They're both going to be linked in description also with my Discord and with my Twitch. Everything's going to be linked in description. And if you want to join my Discord and join for skin proof and get in some role plays as well you guys could do that i'd really appreciate it guys but yeah i'm gonna let you guys go and also guys uh the fortnite season is actually in a day right for right now it's in a day and i wanted to ask you guys are you guys excited for the season i mean if you guys are make sure to drop a comment down below why you're excited for the season i am honestly it's going to be a lot of banger role plays when the new season drops so get ready for that but anyway i'm going to leave you guys here i hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day peace out guys wait me bro wait give me a second <laughs> Wait, is that cheap cologne, dude? Oh my god, you're such a peasant. Come in. My peasant, bro? What you mean, peasant? You were never rich half of your life, bro. I knew you when you were poor. Dude, I've been rich my whole life. Don't ever tell me that again, okay? My dad's always been rich, and I've been rich. And guess what? You're poor. Bro, you've been rich since you were, like, in sixth grade. Do you even know what a Lamborghini is? Yeah, I know what a Lamborghini is. Your dad is. rides in Toyotas. Okay, that, that's a decent car. Then you're poor, peasant. Don't talk to me. Oh my goodness, bro. You changed a lot, you know that? I don't even know why I still come over and hang out with you. Oh my god, dude. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in days. Oh my god, and I have no money to buy any food either. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. Someone's coming. I can probably ask for some money. Uh, excuse me, sir. Sir. Uh, uh yeah, he yes, hello? Uh, I'm kind of homeless. Would you maybe be able to, you know, spare me some change or... Maybe a dollar bill or something so I can go grab me something to eat. I haven't eaten in days. Uh, let me see if I got any change on me right now. Um, I only got five bucks. Uh, that's all I got. Sorry, man. I mean, it will do. Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate this. Yeah, no problem. And um, why are you even in the streets, though? That's my question. Oh, well, it's actually a long story. But since you gave me five dollars and you helped me, I'll, I'll let you know. Well, basically, it started off with me as a child. I was actually in a rich family, and I grew up in a rich family. My dad had a lot of money. He had a great job. My mom had a great job. Everything was fine. I used to get Lambos, Ferraris, everything I ever wanted for my birthday. Oh, my God. And once I actually became a little older, um, I kind of was rude to people, and I didn't really care that people were actually struggling. I used to put all my riches in their face, and um, I used to basically be a jerk and, and just act like I was the richest ever. And... That kind of led me in a wrong place in a long... It's 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 all bad. And, and anyway, let me just cut it short. After that, basically later on in my life, I had a friend and I put it all in his face, called him a, a loser. Me and him stopped being friends. And after that, I started becoming, you know, a bad guy. And, and the people came and took my house away. Well, my dad's house. They took away my Ferrari, my cars. My dad lost his job. My mom lost her company. Everything just went downhill, and now I'm homeless. I, I had a friend who had that same situation happening to him. Same thing as everything, you know. I stopped being friends with him. Uh, you know, I haven't talked to him in years. He lost his uh, everything. Wait, wait, Nate? Is that you? Wait, uh, how do you know my name, sir? Yo, it's, it's me, Bendy, bro. Wait. I'm basically the guy in your story. Wait, Bendy. No, you're trolling. No, there's no way this is Bendy. Are you actually Bendy? I mean, based on the story you're telling me, and based on the way you're acting, yes, it's me. Wait, no way, Bendy. I haven't seen you in years. How's it going, dude? Uh, you know, everything's been, uh, everything's been good, you know? I got a new job. I'm a detective now, and, you know, I'm one of the best detectives ever, and I get paid good money now. Yeah, congratulations, dude. I wish I could say the same for myself. Uh, yeah, and anyways, well, like, what happened? Like, your parents never tried getting another job? You never tried getting a job? Or, like, what happened? Well, to be honest, every job I actually work at, they end up firing me, and I use all the money for food. That's why I'm so fat. And my mom and dad actually, uh, my mom passed away a couple years ago, and my dad, he's just homeless as well. Oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you even know where your dad is? Um, To be honest, no. We split up. I haven't got a phone. He hasn't got a phone. I do not know where he's at. Why'd you guys split up? I feel like you guys should just stay with each other to keep company. Maybe you guys could have made a new company with each other. Who knows? Well, 
we were actually going to stay together because we were actually in a motel. But after they kicked us out, my dad went separate ways and I went a separate way. And now I don't even know where he is. Oh, well, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Anyways, what you cut? I'm sorry, man. I want to reconnect with you and everything, bro, but I'm kind of running out of time right now. I got to go to work in a bit. Oh, well, no, all good, man. Um, Well, maybe later on you can help me or something, dude? Uh, I I'm sorry, man, but I don't know about that. My house is packed. I have three kids, a wife. I don't even know my my, my, my wife will even want you living with us. Well, I'm kind of like your friend, remember? Like, we were friends in high school. We, we literally grew up together. We stopped being friends, Nate, after, you know, I went into your new house and you were complaining to me, calling me a peasant. Oh, yeah, I, I remember. So, sorry. Uh, oh. It's okay. It's okay. I, I left that life behind. Anyways, I'm going to go buy myself a quick drink and I'll be out of your way. All right. Uh, wait, Bendy, Bendy. Uh, before you actually go, I just wanted to apologize. Uh, no, I'm sorry, dude. I I'm, I just really want to apologize deeply. I, I'm very sorry for what happened, dude. I did not mean to do all that. I was just a stuck-up prick kid, dude. I was just dumb. I was dumb and rich, and I'm, I'm, I'm stupid for that. I've never struggled like you did, dude. And I'm sorry. I'm, I, 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 I'm so sorry. Hey, I always told you that back then. I always told you that you were stuck up, always too cocky and stuff like that. You never listened to me. But for me and my religion, I forgive you. I Thank forgive you. everybody. Anyways, like I said, I'm kind of in a rush right now, man. So I don't know, man. I'll talk to you whenever I see you again. Oh, oh, okay, dude. Oh, my God. <sighs> well, anyway, I, at least I got $5 later on. I can actually go buy me something to eat. I guess he's doing all right. Look at his car and everything. Oh my god, dude, I'm literally drooling looking at these. I really wish I can get one, but I don't really have any money. And I don't want to steal either, because stealing brings bad karma, dude. Oh my god, if I could only have one, or two, or maybe... Oh my goodness! Oh. Hey, you're finally here! Wait, Bendy, you finally came back! There's no way! I mean, bro, I always come to this gas station every day to get myself a couple drinks when, you know, when I'm going to work. And you haven't been here for the past week. Oh, yeah, I actually haven't been here, dude, because... I wasn't getting a lot of money here, a lot of people weren't coming here, so since nobody was coming here, I tried to maybe go down the street to another gas station, and then after that I went to another store, and I was just going store to store to see if I could make enough money to, you know, buy actual food so I can survive. Oh, if I'm going to be honest with you, what do you expect to get from this neighborhood? It's kind of like a little neighborhood, you know, where people could be by themselves. Yeah, but I really like this spot and everything, but to be honest, it doesn't bring much money, so I have to keep moving around. No, I get that. No, I got you. Anyways, um, anyways, uh, I've been looking for you for the past week because uh, I'm trying to help you now. Wait, actually, you're gonna help me? Yeah, like I told you, I left all that behind. You know, we're adults now. We were in like high school at that time. I forgive you, dude. You don't really have to do this, but I really appreciate it. Oh, no worry. I got you, bro. Anyways, so what you call it? So I, um, I can't let you in my house because, again, I'm packed, and I was talking to my wife about it the other day, and she kind of, you know, she, she she would let you in, and she says, you know, it's packed in there. Oh, yeah, understandable, dude. I mean, you have kids and everything. Uh, I'm not your main priority. It's fine. Yeah, so what I decided to do is, it's not the best of place to live in, if I'm being honest, okay? It's not the best. It's not five-star. I decided to get you a little motel for now, for you could live in for a little bit until, you know, I could help you look for a job and stuff like that. No, you're joking, right? You're joking. It's just a motel. It's, it's If I'm being honest, it's not the best. I try to look for no, dude, one that might fit your budget. You're joking. Well, it's the only thing I could do right now since, you know, I can't buy you a house because it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy you one. So I just decided to get you like a... Little whole motel, like I said, it's not the best. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not the best, but I got it. Bendy, I really appreciate you, dude. And no problem, man. Uh, what you call it? Uh, you know, you gotta start losing that weight right there, and you know, start shaving off your beard and your hair. No, dude, look at, listen to me. I can promise you, I can literally promise you right now that once I get that motel, dude, I'm gonna get on my feet, dude. I'm gonna get a job. I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna be in shape. I'm gonna get money, dude, and I'm gonna pay you all of it back. Uh, you don't gotta pay me nothing, cause I think I make enough money right now at my job to, you know, maybe get that repaid back in like a week or two. But anyways, I decided to buy you a new razor, cause I'm not gonna let you borrow one of mine, cause I feel like that's a little bit disgusting. Yeah, thank Here you, you so much, dude. Oh my god. You literally don't understand how much this is gonna help me, dude. I really, 
appreciate you. I mean, when I was a little, dude, I, I treated you wrong, and you're treating me right. I just, I've never thought this would happen, dude. I, I really appreciate you. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. Karma hits a lot of people. Karma hits you bad, and I say you deserved it. But now I, I still think you deserve it. Wait, wait, am I going with you? Yes. Which I think I'm gonna let you do. Walk all the way over there. It's like a oh three-hour walk. Thank you so much, dude. Oh, I haven't been in a Lambo in years. The last oh time you've been in a Lambo, I think you were still in high school. Yeah, that is very true. Oh my God, this is very. Right, anyways, nice. let's go.